All right, let's uh, let's do some fill in the blanks here. Get those marker boards ready. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna call an audible. We're only gonna do two of them here, um, but we're gonna start with uh, looking at plays from uh, from Sunday. We just mentioned a big one. I want you guys to tell me fill in the blank. The biggest play of Sunday's game was blank. The biggest play of Sunday's win over Baltimore, who is now one and four. They are one and two in the AFC North. Uh, the biggest play in the win over Baltimore was Chris Fedor. All right, this is taking nothing away from the Browns' win because it was just, a hard-fought just win. Trying to make people it angry. Was, with no, this no, one. no, not at all. It was a huge <laughs> win, very, very important win for the Browns, and they earned it. But the biggest play of the game was Justin Forsett's injury at the end of that big pl- pass where he got them. Facing a first down and goal, Baltimore, already without Steve Smith, their best playmaker at wide receiver, lost the only other playmaker that they had on the offensive side of the ball going into that game. He wasn't there for the first down and goal inside the 10-yard line. And then he wasn't there for the overtime. Mm -hmm. For Baltimore to take the ball right away, not have Justin Forsett, their only source of offense, really consistently throughout the day yesterday. That led to the Browns getting a three and out. That led to very good field goal position. And it all is contributed to me to one guy going down and Baltimore having absolutely no answers offensively when they absolutely needed answers. Mike, how give about me something that? the Browns did. How about that? Can you give me something the Browns did can, here? Can you bring something from the Browns' perspective positive to it? <laughs> Let's move on. I've what got you, something. That positively <laughs> helped them win the game. <laughs> I've got something uh, that'll trump that. The Josh McCow check down to Isaiah Crowell and his catch and run touchdown as he uh, beat a couple of defenders and got to, into the end zone with it. I thought that that, again, I'm, I'm fourth quarter touchdown drives to come from behind, getting everybody involved, as we said, finding ways to let people see. I trust you that you could be a playmaker for mm-hmm. me. Especially important for an Isaiah Crowell or a Duke Johnson younger players, really for everybody on the Browns offense. I love that. I thought that was the most defining moment that those two fourth quarter touchdowns and Crowell's play, making a play, was defining for the Browns, made a big statement in the win. Bud. Well, I'm going to have to agree with Michael, although I expected Michael to say that a John Hughes tackle somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to say Crowell's TD also. I think this team needs as many offensive uh, options as it can get. And I have to believe that the, using Duke Johnson as often as they are, that good defenses are going to take that away at some point. So I like the fact that Crowell was able to catch the ball and make a great play.